Welcome to episode 19 of Paper Sorcerer. Logan Kane here. Today, th we are at the boss, but we just had a boring mid-boss fight. Let's try and see what's in the strange old house. I can't remember if I had another one. Did we find a soul? Yep, we found a soul, all right. So we unlock a new level of the catacombs. Let's go to the catacombs. Level four. I wonder what we get. What the? Well, that's different. Or maybe it's not. I don't remember those things. Whatever. What do we got here? Oh, is this one not going to be a weird... Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a weird maze. What's this way? Nothing, of course. Oh. Well, just nothing in that room. Okay. So much for the mazy aspect. What about over here? Are we going to get a fight right in front of these? Yep, there it is. What the fuck was that? And furthermore, what is this guy? Is he like a level 20 knight in there or something? Jeez. Level 15 defender. Alright, I guess we'll take out the ice hounds, because that just makes sense. Alright, just do an attack puppet. Sorcerer, you know what? You're going to go ahead and poison that level 15 defender. He sounds terrifying to me. And now that I, ju I just realized what I said. I just said, let's poison a dead knight. That's probably not going to work, is it? Whatever. Let's challenge. Eh, he did a little bit of damage. Can we poison the dead knight? I, I guess we can poison something that's dead. I'm okay with that. But what I'm not okay with is these damn ice hounds, because they're a pain in the ass. Let's see, do we use some sort of special skill to destroy these guys? Oh, no, we don't. We just use whatever skills. It doesn't matter. Maybe it would matter on the harder difficulties. But from what I can tell, it doesn't seem likely. I feel if I was playing on a harder difficulty, it would just be harder, but there's, there's no real str What is my strategy? Maybe I'm just completely oblivious to this, but what is my strategy? I attack the enemy. Does lowering their agility really help? It doesn't seem to. Does using ice do more damage to an ice hound? Does using fire do more damage to a fire hound? It doesn't seem to. Setting things on fire or poisoning them is certainly useful. Gets a little bit of damage over time on them. But aside from that, I don't know why I have different skills. I guess... Sorry about that. I guess the the wizard makes a little bit of sense because his skills are so different. You see, the wizard will be able to do a little bit of damage. And then he has the agility down thing, which doesn't seem to do anything, and ice elements don't seem to matter. So whatever. And then he has scorch, which does damage over time. The poison is from a staff, so the wizard doesn't really have poison. Uh, focus brings back his stuff, so that's strategy. Right? Some strategy there. Do another brutal strike to the ice, this other ice arm. But yeah, I could use mage armor and increase my defense, but for why? If I need to increase my defense, chances are I'm going to be killed anyway. Completely shield myself from one attack. Why? Why, not, why wouldn't I just use a heal potion? And what is it going to save? I don't understand. And that's not what I wanted to attack. Oh well. Let's do... Actually, you know what? Let's try a Rending Strike on a Defender. One thing I haven't tried with Rending Strikes is attacking something with it first. I usually attack something a few times and then I drop a Rending Strike and I'm unimpressed by the defense. The defense kill. But let's see this time. Ooh, he took zero. That's unnerving. But anyway, so he lost 29. No, no difference, really. See, so even with the Minotaur, the Rending Strike... Okay, it does 29 defense damage, but what would have happened if I just did a regular attack? In fact, we're going to find out soon. Attack the defender. I just want to see what happens. So yeah, what's going to happen? Alright, black beam. I hope the minotaur didn't already attack because I had to cough there. There we go. 29 defense. He lost, and he evaded it, but what's the difference? It was the same amount of defense. So, 
for the most part, it doesn't even matter if I use a skill or not. Oh, I didn't notice that. Let's knock down the dead defender. Or am I looking at the wrong thing? Let's look over there. Okay. Skeleton has 25 defense. That's not good. He needs to use defensive strike to get some of that defense back. Okay, he's knocked down, so he's not going to attack. Blast him one. Okay, he took damage that time. Before he wasn't taking damage, so that's a, that's a plus, I suppose. Alright, regular attack. Great. Sorcerer, basically your regular attack. Drop a black ball on him. Skeleton, do a defensive strike. You can use some defense. And Puppet? You know, Puppet has stuff. Let's use the Puppet stuff. No reason not to. Well, he took a decent bit of damage for something considered called a defender from that, so... Hopefully. Oh no, I lost four agility. What does that mean? What does that mean? If he was an assassin or a thief, I, I could understand. The assassin or the thief is going to want what? It's going to want agility so it can use its quick strike attack. But aside from that, what does agility do? Is it my ac is it my accuracy? Maybe. But none of these deep buffs seem to matter unless they're unless they're damage over time. Some people probably don't even consider damage over time a debuff, it's more of an attack. Okay, now we're doing real damage to him, that means, yep, he's dead. One solid strong body. Oh, okay. Like, how did I find a body? Then I remembered, that's what the puppet uses. Derpy. Alright, puppet, where are you? So you have the basic strong body. That's what you have right there. So we're going up four times. A lot more strength, a lot more agility, a lot more defense. Holy crap. It's really going to help. Alright, let's try and open this. Silver Kotfra. I'm guessing that's a treasure. I don't even care enough to look at it. Alright, what about over here? Or am I going backwards? Oh, I'm in a fight. Well, we'll fast forward. Well, let's find out what these are. Level 10 Assassin, level 10 Man in Arms, and a level 15 Defender. I'll be back. Wow, that's, that's a lot of stuff, actually. 258 gems, lesser healing potion, jade, intermediate shield arm. Do I use those? I don't remember. Oh, that's right, I have two attack arms. Basic magical head. Basic striker body. Basic grasshopper rune. Basic magical body. 915 experience gained. Minotaur, hit all your foes with a strong attack. Whoa, power swing? Oh, power swing, derp. I was thinking of, wait, power strength? That must be a new one. Yeah. Ooh, ghost dance. Raises critical chance, level three. You know what? I want to look at the puppet stuff. All right, puppet, what do you got? What do you have for a head? I could have a magical head. I could go all magical with them. I am getting, you know what? I am. I'm going to switch them. I know I just got the awesome body, but... I'm going to change him over to Magical, because it just sounds interesting to me. So we have the shield arm, the trick arm, alright, we'll just put a shield arm on. There we go. You can have one shield arm and a guillotine arm. Okay. You know what? Flamethrower arm. That's what I want to do. Instead of agility, what do we got for magic? That'll work. Whatever. Curious to see what happens. Alright, what's over here? Another one of these? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Well, I always get lost in these things. Every time. I think I'm going backwards. Yeah, I was going backwards. Alright, let's go back over here. Now, anyway, I was thinking the, the battles in this game, they don't get better. 
Or at least they haven't been so far. It just seems like a grind. A time grind, not even a difficulty grind. It's like playing Final Fantasy games, and you're just like, Oh, you know what? I want to level up, so I'm just going to wander around here, watch TV, and press the A button. Well, I guess circle button. Whatever. And just keep pressing those buttons until eventually I have enough money, gold, materia stuff, or esper stuff, or whatever. In this one, it's like, okay, I see these guys. That's some sort of high-level undead wizard or some shit. Frost wizard. Level 10 Barbarian and an Ice Hound. These guys probably won't take that long to take out, comparatively, but my lord, these battles just drag on, and I get the feeling that if I played on a higher difficulty level, there, there's no strategy that I can take. I just attack. Uh, there, uh, there's very light strategy, okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do an AoE attack this time. Let's do a wild swing and... Wait, what's power swing? Power swing does more, whatever. So maybe I'll do a power swing, and then the sorcerer, he's low on energy, so I focus, or if he's about to die, so I heal. I mean, that's pretty basic, but I don't even think inner fire, yeah, at 90 HP, that probably wouldn't save me if he ch has a chance of dying. Then there's poison, let's just black bolt, let's black bolt the ice hound, we'll take out the ice hound first. And then the puppet, let's see what he has. This is interesting. I put on those other things, and now he has different skills, which I expected, but... So flame is light fire damage, and then dark fire, chance of blinding your opponent. And I don't think blind does anything either. Hey, restore defense. I don't think blind does anything either. Let's use it on the barbarian. And the skeleton. When I play MMOs, which isn't often anymore, I like being tanks and healers. So this guy is actually interesting to me. He does have a defensive strike to buff his own defense because he's using challenge to get everybody to attack him. This sounds like strategy. Drop a challenge, everybody attacks him, raise his defense, get his defense back. Hey, nobody's really hurting me. I'll do a power strike. Oh, everybody's really hurting me. Better go into shield stance. In fact, I will do challenge. That one's actually interesting. There's stuff there. But, I don't... That's it. Everything else is just spam the same attack over and over again until I win. There's no weaknesses that I can discern. There's no advantage. He's bl I just blinded the Barbarian and it's probably going to hit me anyway. Like that. Unless I okay. Yeah, I, I don't know which one it was, but I know he hit me. He's blind and he hit me. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back, and I have a frozen key. I wonder what that's for. Or maybe, since killing a frost wizard before gave me a frozen key, I'm just getting a frozen key because that's what the monster drops. Which is what it's looking like, because I didn't see anything else to do. But to get back onto my rant, the combat, there was another issue I noticed. Sometimes the enemy will evade damage but take defense. Okay, I accept that. But how do you take damage and evade defense? I, I don't know. Oh wait, is this a... What? You find a soul different from the others you've met. Its shape is constantly shifting between a variety of vague forms. You, you have the stench of living about you. I require your assistance. Let's see. I already got enough to worry. Forget it. You know what? How can I help a ghost? I have been sent here in error, for I am not the soul of some indecisive mortal brimming with useless feelings. I am the soul of a living weapon, Masa, a sleek and elegant instrument with a single well-defined purpose. My two brothers and I have been separated from our bodies and discarded in here. Help me find my brothers, as well as new bodies for us to inhibit, and we will serve you for a period not to exceed five years. <laughs> I guess, if I... What do you mean, bodies? Oh, nothing so gruesome as you make it sound. As weapons, we require physical materials to inhibit. Otherwise, we may not physically affect the enemy. Oh, what kind? Given how powerful we are, we require rather high-quality material for our bodies. Otherwise, we usually break it when channeling your energy through. 
which is rather undesired during most battles. Yeah, I'd say weapons breaking. What a pain, find some mook to do that. <laughs> Alright, okay, sounds good, I'll keep an eye out. Good, let us stop this agreement is mutually beneficial. My brothers went further down the catacombs and search of bodies. I will come to you out of sight. Okay. Well, that's it for episode 19 of Paper Sorcerer. Cleared the Reaper's Dungeon. You know, that's another thing. It's inconsistent. It's like, oh, this is the Reaper's Dungeon. You just cleared it. And then, but, but I thought it was the catacombs. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm still enjoying the game. The battles are getting very drawn out. But I still I just want to know I want to know what the story happens in the story even though this game seems to be rather story weak I am really invested in the story for some reason and I'm ready to go tear apart that binding in the next episode see you there